Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Jones and welcome to this edition of our program, The Platform, and uh, we discuss national issues here, but on our program today we are going to talk about a young lady who is the new Miss Bahamas, Terea Bianca Stirrup. Uh, she was here recently as Miss Grand Bahama and uh, she has won the pageant. And so congratulations are in order around the country and around the world for the Miss Bahamas Universe, Terea Stirrup. Welcome to our program. Thank you and for having me back. Yes, <laughs> congratulations to you. Thank you. And uh, we thank Bianca Nygaard for bringing her along. Yes, my pleasure. Mm. Yes. I'm excited to have her back on the show. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I, and it was only a few weeks ago that you were here, huh? Right? Yes, yeah. I recently won the pageant. The grand finale was August 18th. Mm -hmm. And so on that day, they chose me as the new queen and since then, my life has completely changed, completely. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, some people have been following these um, Miss Bahamas contests for many, many years. And uh, so you're the uh, newest queen uh, here in the Bahamas. And you were Miss Grand Bahama. Why did you, why were you Miss Grand Bahama? Well, I chose Miss Grand Bahama because my family, the Starup family, has deep, deep roots in Grand Bahama, and the majority of my family lives there to this day. Uh, my father migrated here to New Providence, where I was born, but we go there every Christmas, every summer, things like that, so I'm very close to my family. Good. So give us your background. You went to school in New Providence? Yes, I grew up here. I went to school at Bahamas Academy here in Nassau, and I did a few years of high school in Jamaica, in Mandeville. Mm, good. And um, what was your theme, or what did you... Um, uh, I'm sure when you were in the contest, you had a particular focus. Yes. Yes, what was that? Well, my platform was dementia awareness, and okay. it was in honor of my grandmother, who has dementia currently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, um, Tyria's platform has expanded, of course, because of Hurricane Dorian. Yes. And um, some family members of you were affected in Grand Bahama. Right. right. So in response to Hurricane Dorian, um, the two islands of Abaco and Grand Bahama were greatly affected by the effects of the storm. And because my roots do come from Grand Bahama, I felt especially, um, you know, implored to make an effort to hurricane relief and really lend my services, uh, my platform to promote all donation services, all relief services, all fundraising opportunities to help everyone as best as I can. Mm -hmm. yes. And your family survived and they did well during the hurricane? Yes, you know, we've lost material things, but we still have our life and that's most important. Very good. Yes. And um, you uh, hope to go there soon, I'm sure. Yes, I can't wait. You know, I've been so busy here. Um, garnering all of the relief items and really shipping things out. And for a long time, only emergency personnel was allowed to go. So now that it's free to the public, I'm very excited to go and I can't wait. Now tell me, why did you enter the contest in the first place? Miss Bahamas? Yes. Well, I wanted to because, you know, everyone kind of dreams of becoming Miss Bahamas when they were younger and I grew up almost idolizing the queens of my youth. And I knew that it was an esteemed position. And for me to achieve that would be a great, great achievement in my country. And I'm very proud to be Bahamian. Mm -hmm. So to represent the country as an ambassador, I thought it would be an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your friends are uh, sending you these uh, <laughs> congratulatory notes and oh, all of yes. that. They yes. are completely freaking out. They're like, I know Miss Bahamas. I'm like, OK. Relax. I, I really think that Tyria, I really think that you're such a wonderful person to represent the Bahamas. Um, not only does she have the looks, but the intelligence, and she's very humble and hands-on with things herself. Oh. And I saw that right away, as soon as you um, were, were hearing about the hurricane and the effects, I just saw her on social media put together something so fast. I think it was that night and I saw she had a whole plan of action to get people to help. She was one of the first people that I actually saw right on top of, of things. Yeah. And then I've seen her hands on just like trying to do everything 
um, for people, and I think that that's very admirable. Mm -hmm. And um, well, tell us about some of those things you were doing. Well, um, as soon as the storm hit in Abaco, I knew right away that this was no regular hurricane. Mm -hmm. You know, we we got reports the day of when it was on the way to Grand Bahama, how horrific it was in Abaco. And at that time, I knew immediately we would need help. You know, so I started garnering all of the support that I could internationally, locally, through connections that I have, that my parents have, that my friends have, and even the platform of Miss Universe. I immediately used it to promote volunteer efforts to promote relief efforts because that things like that it's not a regular situation it's an emergency situation mm -hmm. and the more things we have in place the more options that people have i just wanted everyone to know of the options that were available mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just lend <laughs> lend my platform in any way possible because i can't even describe the way my heart dropped that day mm -hmm. I felt completely helpless, and the only thing that I could do is serve as almost a conduit between survivors, evacuees, and relief. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, it, it is a yeah. horrific experience for a whole lot of people yes. uh, who have been through uh, that hurricane, and um, uh, the relief efforts are still ongoing, eh? Mm -hmm. um, I, pass the Red Cross uh, all the time and see the number of people there who are uh, lined up uh, for uh, goods uh, in New Providence and I'm sure it's the same in Grand Bahama and other and in Abaco as well. Yes, yes, yes for sure. I, I've been a part of so many um, relief efforts where we have almost ports where we build little trailers and send them out. And there's so many evacuees in Nassau now, so there are a lot of people that are in need still coming and picking up clothes, food, things like that. And I just want everyone to not get tired. Yeah. Do you think people have, uh, appreciate uh, overall the impact of, of this storm um, uh, in the country generally? I think it's um, twofold. You know, there are people who survived the storm who will never erase the traumatic experiences that they have. And then there are people like me who were near enough but not near enough. Mm -hmm. So we were able to watch from the outside looking in and still feel um, emphatic and still sympathize with our fellow, you know, our fellow citizens, our fellow um, residents and things. But. I think it's changed the country forever, to be I honest. Think so. I think, I think so. we've hit a turning point and we've banded together so much. It's made us all so much stronger. And um, I think we'll be moving forward and rebuilding in a much different way, mm -hmm. which I, I do like. It's an op opportunity to do th some things differently as well, yes. eh? Yes, yes. Um, both in Grand Bahama as well as, as Abaco. Mm -hmm. People have to build differently. Um, build uh, higher in, in the case of Grand Bahama because of the uh, tremendous amount of water that uh, mm -hmm. flooded homes yeah. and um, we have to take another look at our building code. Uh, we have to look at our building codes, we have to look at our emergency response mm -hmm. systems. I think we also need to look at um, our allies in the world who have reached out to us and really look at how they responded when yeah. we needed help yeah. so that we'll yeah. be able to yeah. adapt, you know? Yeah, there's been a tremendous amount of goodwill for the Bahamas, you think? Yes. Uh, I from, love that so much. There have been um, a lot of people just, people who came on a cruise ship who said, oh, well, we love the people. They were so kind and we love the Bahamas. We loved our stay. And it's things like that that really gives me a lot of hope yeah. because the Bahamian people are unlike any other in the world, and we know that. Mm -hmm. And for everyone else to recognize that is really powerful. Yeah. You know, we were always, um, uh, we had the reputation of being a very hospitable people, very friendly uh, people. Yeah. And um, people in North America in particular, uh, they showed the tremendous amount of support and, as I said, goodwill for the Bahamas, and the goods uh, continued uh, to come into the country yes. uh, because of the uh, relationships that were built over the many years. And uh, Bahamas is just a 
a great friend for a whole lot of Americans, yes? Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. We were actually at the National Youth Awards last night. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, I, and you looked beautiful. And, and Thank you. And carried yourself so well. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a lot of wonderful musicians and artists that came out with amazing songs. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was in the... I was in the crowd and I just looked around and even for myself and my daughter, everybody was teary-eyed, you know. I think it's just so emotional um, time and I think that, yeah, you're right, that it has changed everybody. And I like the fact that you said, I hope we don't get tired. Like, these, these are, this is going to be ongoing for years, oh, yes. I think, in so many different levels. And so to not get tired and just keep on giving, yes. to keep helping and... and um, you know, keep sharing an ear, like just listening to people's stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the way that we can be supportive of this. Yes. Right. Let's talk um, uh, some more about um, your, uh, the beginning of your reign now. Oof. All right. Um, <laughs> let's focus on some things ahead, some positive things ahead. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you are Miss Bahamas, and not just Miss Grand Bahama now, yes. but Miss Bahamas. Bahamas. And so people <laughs> around the Bahamas must come to know um, Terea Bianca Stirrup. Mm -hmm. What more you want them to know about you as a person, and what, what would you want to do, for instance, uh, to empower, to enable, uh, to encourage young women? Well, for me, I always want people to know that I'm a very fun-loving person. I'm always ready to crack a joke and, you know, get somebody to laugh because mm -hmm. life is too short to be so serious all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, for my young women, I want them to know that you can pursue anything that you want to do. You know, like I said, I've thought about being Miss Bahamas for a very long time, but it took a lot of hard work to be here. Mm -hmm. And so as long as you have a vision and a goal, it's achievable. You know, you just have to work toward it. Your, your ultimate goal um, is, to, is to do what in terms of being a, a careerist? If I had to choose my dream career, mm -hmm. I would be a philanthropist. Okay. I feel that the Bahamas is a place that um, has a lot of talent and a lot of um, people that are able to do a million and one jobs. But what we do lack is opportunity in a way. So in my... Uh, field of philanthropy, I want to facilitate those who may be seeking that opportunity. <laughs> mm. You know, and I want to provide that. If I have connections, I want to put them in the right rooms because that's what people did for me. I've had amazing mentors who really took the time to take me under their wing and really cultivate my talent, and I want to do that for someone else. That's quite ambitious, uh, <laughs> and sometimes it takes a lot of money to it do this. It takes a lot things. of coin, okay? Yes. <laughs> but to get there, I want to do it um, in my own way. So my other money-making talent mm -hmm. <laughs> is modeling, and I want to use this opportunity at Miss Universe to launch my own personal career and to hopefully start my philanthropic foundation. You want to be an international model? International supermodel. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's uh, you, you hooked up with the right people. <laughs> you know, Bianca has her own um, uh, fashion line, you know. Oh. <laughs> and she hooked up with Choice Model Management. And yes. yes. And particularly Gerard Royale yes. has been yes. training you. He has changed my life completely. I signed with Choice in January of this year. And they have taken me from basically, you know, bottom to the top. It, it was incredible the amount of um, hands-on training that I was given. It's incredible the amount of opportunity I was given in such a short time. And so I'm really thankful for a choice and what they've done in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Gerard, Gerard's been on the show, Gerard Royale. He's known as yeah. the walk master. He is. And really, <laughs> anybody that he's trained has gotten to the top or, or a crown. He has um, a few crowns under his belt this mm -hmm. year. Yes. He's trained um, myself, which mm -hmm. would be Miss Bahamas Universe. He's trained Miss Bahamas World, Miss Bahamas Teenager, all winners mm. for this year alone. So um, it really speaks to what choice is about. So what the, tra the training entails? Oh, so <laughs> it takes a lot of heels for one. So 
your feet are going to be very sore. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and you do a lot of interview training, PR training, uh, runway, of course. We do posing. We do, you know, all of the techniques that you need to look good, sound good, feel good. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you, you're a very confident person, aren't you? Oh, uh, where where you, you got this confidence from? Honestly, it's, it's been a personal journey. Mm. I was never the one who would want to be the center of attention. I've never thought you know, so highly of myself. And for a long time, I had a lot of um, self-deprecating um, thoughts, really. I didn't think too highly of myself. And I really worked toward believing that I was something and that I had talent and that I was valuable in this world. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot of you know, personal reflection, a lot of time with God and therapy, honestly, to get me where I am now. Oh, that's really remarkable because you really stand out, I think, in a room and, and um, on a runway, definitely. And I can see her being a supermodel. I Ooh, can definitely thank see you. her being a supermodel. I hope very, so. Very good. Good. We're going to talk some more about um, the talents, and I put the S on it, the talents that you possess. Uh, but let's take a break here on our program. We're speaking with the new Miss Bahamas today. We take this break. We'll come right back.